Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parang Zambulkar. In last video, we have seen at API decorator. In this video, we will see at track decorator. And for this, we will see one example. So in last video, we have seen in LWC, there are three decorators at API, at track and at wire. At API decorator is used to make any private property public. Public in the sense that property can be used in other components from the another component. So whenever we are not using any decorator, so by default, any property or any function is local or private. Private in the sense, it can be used within that component only. When we are using at API decorator with any property or function, so that local property or local function will be become public. That means that can be accessed from the another component. Now see, in this video, we will see another decorator that is at track. Now, what is the use of at track decorator? So see, it is used to make any private variable reactive. See, again, I am repeating. It is used to make any private variable reactive. So see, when we are using at track decorator with any variable or with any property, so it remains private. So see, this is the basic difference between at API decorator and at track decorator. When we use at API decorator, so private property becomes public. But when we are using at track decorator, so private property remains private only, right? But it becomes reactive. What is the meaning of reactive? If there is any change in the expression value or if there is any change in property value, so that changes will be reflected in component. So see, if there is any change in at track property, so that updated values will be visible in that component. So that is called as reactive. If any changes happen in the component because of any expression change or any variable value change, so that updated value will be seen in that component that is called as reactive. So when we are using at track decorator along with any property, it makes that property reactive. Any changes happen in that property value that will be reflected onto the component. But that property will remain private only. Now see, track properties are also called as private reactive properties that properties will be private and it will be reactive property we can't access attract properties from the outside as they are private and only accessible within its component only as properties remains private only so they cannot access outside the component they cannot access from the other component then to use attract we have to import it from the lwc so just like at api decorator we have to import track from the LWC model. What is the syntax for at track decorator? So see, this is property name and before property name, we have to use at track decorator. So syntax is just similar to at API decorator. Okay, now we will see one example and from that it will be very clear. I have opened Visual Studio code. This is our project name LWC project 2. Here in force dash app, we have LWC, right? We will right click on this. Here we have option create lightning web component. We will click on this. We will give some name. So see, suppose I am giving track counter example. We will press enter. We will keep default directory. Okay. So by this, our component is created. And here are the three files HTML js that is javascript file and meta.xml file whatever it is visible in component that should be written in html file right and logic we have to write in javascript file right okay so see in html file what we will do lightning card okay here we will print counter value like this and in curly bracket here we will mention counter okay so counter will be a property and that we will define in javascript file now see we will add one more division here we will add one button so see lightning dash button label will give plus now see if someone click on this button so see on click is equal to we will call one function so see so here in curly bracket we will mention function name so see suppose we will write one function increment this function will define in javascript file okay like this 
Okay, so by this we have added one button plus. If someone click on this button, so see label will be plus. And if someone click on this button, so see this increment function will be called. And this function we will define in JavaScript file. Okay. Now see one more division we will add. Lightning button label is equal to minus and if someone click on this button so this decrement function will be called so in curly bracket we will write function name like this okay so see what we have done we are printing counter value this is property name counter that we will define in javascript file here we have added one button label will be plus we will call increment function if someone click on this button then another button here label will be minus and if someone click on this button so decrement function will be called okay so see we will save it now in javascript file so see here in curly bracket here we will define one property counter is equal to and we will keep default value zero like this now see we have to make this counter property reactive so see for that we will use decorator track like this right now see it is showing red line right so what we have to do we have to import track from the lwc module so see comma track like this so see here we are defining one property counter and by add track we are making it reactive now see we will write function so see increment So see, from this function, we want to change counter value, right? So for that, this, this is reference to the counter property, right? This dot counter and we will increment it, right? Okay. Now we will add one more function, decrement. Like this. Okay. And this dot counter minus minus, right? So in this decrement function, we will decrement counter value and in this increment function we will increment counter value and this is our counter property we have initialized it with zero and we have made it reactive by attract decorator right okay so we will save it now see here in meta.xml file here we will write true targets we will add lightning underscore underscore app page suppose one more target we will add lightning underscore underscore home page like this now we will deploy this component so see we will right click on this deploy source to org so our component is deployed onto the org okay now see here i have logged in in cellphone developer org from this app launcher, we will go to some app. Suppose I am searching sales. Okay. We will add this component here. So see, we will click on gear icon. Then we will click on edit page. Lightning app builder page is open. Scroll down. Here we have our component, right? Track counter example. So see, we will drag and drop right okay we will save it we will click on back button now here you can see counter is equal to zero right now see when i click on plus button so see this counter value is getting changed right and when i click on minus button so see this counter value is getting reduced or decremented right and when i click on plus button so it is getting incremented so this is how we have made this counter property reactive whatever the operation that you perform on this component accordingly this value is get changed so see it is reactive reactive in the sense it is reacting to the changes on to the component right whatever the changes that happen to this component so accordingly it is reacting that's why we say it is a reactive right so it becomes reactive by using attract property right so this is the use of attract decorator now see in this example if i remove this attract decorator still it will work 
but when we use attract decorator so it ensures that our property will be 100% reactive so for that purpose we have to use attract decorator in next video we will see use of add wire decorator so friends i hope you like this video if yes then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you